Hey, hello. How are you guys? It's so good to see everyone right now. I am really excited because the Oscars are one of my favorite, favorite award shows to watch. I don't know if you remember last year, but I did a huge, huge live reaction to the Oscars. I love seeing different actors and I love watching all the movies and I love getting the screeners. The screeners are the best. So I've seen a lot of these movies. Um, and yeah, but the thing is they make me depressed sometimes. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'll say about the Oscar nominations is that they do sometimes make me sad. But anyway, guys, we're going to get in and I'm going to go through all of the nominations for you guys. So if you don't know, now you know. All right. So, so far, Shape of Water leads with 13 nominations, guys. That's crazy. That's so many, and I haven't even seen the movie. The movie's up for Best Picture and Best Director with Guillermo del Toro and Best Actress, Sally Hawkins. Actually, I seen her. I, I, have, I really want to watch this. I, I saw her interview, I think it was on uh, Kimmel, where basically it's just it's a love story between her and a fish. I don't know if it, that was a joke, but um, it seems really amazing. And she's actually, I saw her in this movie with Ethan Hawke, and it was such a good movie. I just cried. I laughed. She was amazing in it. She played an artist. She's just a, she's a very talented actress, so I'm excited about it, and I hope she wins, um, hope she wins Best Actress. That would be, that would be so cool. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining. All right, so who else? Let's see. Who else is nominated? Okay, it's the 90th annual Academy Awards. So you know, since it's 90 years, it's going to be a big deal, right? It's going to be a really big deal. And today, this morning, they announced the people who are nominated, which I've been, honestly, guys, like, just dying to know. I've been dying to know. Um, so... We're really excited that Jimmy Kimmel is going to host it again. I think he's a great host. He's very classy. He's very funny. I love Kimmel. He's one of he, he's one of my favorite um, talk show hosts, and it's going to be in in LA as always. George is just jumping around around me. Um, ABC will be broadcasting the show live Sunday, March fourth. So guys, put it in your calendars. I know I have it in mine right now. Um, okay, so let's see who is going to be nominated. Best Picture. All right, Call Me by Your Name. Haven't seen that. Darkest Hour, Dunkick, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. So I saw the only uh, movie out of these that I see saw was Get Out, and Get Out was really, really good. So I don't know. Um, but, I mean, if I had to guess who was going to win, I'd say The Shape of Water. I don't know. We'll see. I forget. We'll see. I forget. Um, I forget who won the Golden Globe for Best Picture. Let me see if um, Dennis. Let me let me go. Who won the Golden Globe for Best Picture? I have no idea. Let's see. Let's look it up. Because usually, Golden Globe, Best Picture. A lot of the times, whoever wins the Golden Globe will maybe win the. Win the option, uh, win the, win it, win the Oscar. Oh, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Okay, all right. So maybe they'll win. Best director. All right. So best director, we have Christopher Nolan from Dunkirk, Jordan Peele, Get Out, Greta Gerwig, Lady Bird, Paul Thomas Anderson, and Guillermo del Toro. Hmm. I once again, I don't know. I ha I saw Get Out, and I think Get Out is an amazing movie. But we all know what kind of movies wins Oscars. The the depressing ones that, that make you want to rip your eyes out. Those are the those are the ones. Those are the ones that people people wanna see. Oh nice. Everyone's commenting. Hey people, what up? Alright. So we're also looking now at best actresses, because that's I mean, come on. Sally Honkins, uh Francis McDormand, Margot Robbie. Saros Ronan and Meryl Streep. Um, I know the girl from Lady Bird won, um, so I don't know who they'll pick. I, I also I did see I Tanya and she did an amazing amazing job. Actually, wait, no, Frances McDormand won won actually. Now that I remember, not not Lady Bird. I don't I don't know, guys. 
I don't know who's going to win because these are all such amazing actors. I mean, Meryl Streep, she always wins. But um, I would like Sally to win. Um, if I had to root for somebody and I had to be somebody's cheerleader, it would be Sally's. Definitely. Best actor. And George is getting very angry. He wants to go out. My dog wants to go out for a walk. <laughs> all right. Um, Timothy Claimant, Call Me By Your Name. Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom Thread. Daniel Kalua, Get Out. Gary Ullman, Darkest Hour, and Denzel Washington. Wow, that's a huge, huge, um, these are amazing uh, people to be to be up against. Wow, I, I would say, um, I mean, I hope, I hope uh, Gary Ullman is amazing. He's been at it for years, and Daniel Day-Lewis is Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, they're all amazing. Uh, of course, Denzel, like, you know, and this, the Get Out movie was so good, and, and C, Call Me By Your Name, but I heard it was awesome. Best Supporting Actress. Oh, we got Mary J. Blige, Ali, Allison Janney, who I've met before, is very nice, Leslie Manville, Laurie Metcalf, and Octavia Spencer. Hmm. I mean, once it, it's so hard. I don't know who would win. I know Allison won for uh, the Golden Globes, so... Maybe she'll win. She did a really great job. Um, Tanya Harding's mother was a, apparently a big B-word. She was not a nice person. Not a nice person at all. So Allison did a great job. And she's like one of the nicest. Like I met her before. She's so nice. So for her to, to be that character is definitely out of her. It's not like her. You know, it's somebody else. So she was really good. Best Supporting Actor. All right. William Defoe, The Florida Product. Woody Harrelson. Three bill billboards outside Eddie, Missouri. Richard Jerkins, Shape of Water. Christopher Plummer, All the Money in the World. And Sam Rockwell. See, I haven't seen any of these yet. So, geez, guys. I should have I should have did more homework. I should have watched more. I usually watch more of them. I didn't get many. Oh, okay. Best Original Screenplay. This is huge. The Big Sick. I love that movie. I did a reaction to it. It was so good. So I definitely, I do hope they win. Get Out, Jordan Peele. That was a really great screenplay, too. It was very creative. Um, Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig, The Shape of Water, and then the three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Best Adapted Screenplay. Here we go. Call Me By Your Name, The Disaster Artist, Logan, Molly's Game, or Mudbound. I have no, I have no idea. Um... I'm surprised that Disaster Artist has not been nominated for more, and it just, it really upsets me. I think I'm going to do a separate video about this, because I love James Franco, and I know there is a whole, um, yeah, I love James Franco. I think that he should be nominated, but whatever. Best Foreign Language Film, A Fantastic Woman, The Insult, Loveless Russia, On Body and Soul, and the square. I have not seen any of these, but I'm sure they're all pretty amazing. Prizzy, pretty, prizzy. Oh, best animated feature. I totally saw the baby, the boss baby. That was really good. That was an amazing movie. The breadwinner, Coco, Finand, and Loving Vincent. You know, I've only seen the boss baby, and that movie was amazing. Just saying. I'm just saying it was really good. Best documentary. Abuscus, small enough to jail. Faces Places, Ascaris, Last Man in Aleppo, and Strong Island. I, you know, I haven't seen any of these docs, but I'm sure they're all amazing. And I'm sure, if, you know, they're all, like, so, people are so excited. I mean, just imagine being nominated for an Oscar. Like, finding out today that you're nominated. Oh, my God. Uh, Best Cinematography, Blade Runner 2049, Darkest Hour, Dunkit, Mudbound, and The Shape of Water. That's awesome. I like. I once again, I'm upset because I have not seen any of these screeners yet. Um, hopefully, I get to watch them soon. So I don't know. I can't make a comment about something I haven't seen yet. But cinematography is hard. You got to hold a heavy camera. You got to make sure you're focused. I mean, it's most of the time, it's it's a hard job. It's a very hard job. Um, okay, best film editing: Baby Driver, Dunkit, I Tanya, The Shape of Water. Three billboards outside Ebby, Missouri. I feel like the movie phone voice. Do I sound like the movie phone voice? Best sound mixing. All right. Baby Driver, Blade Runner, 2049, Dunkit, The Shape of Water, Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Ooh. 
I don't know, Star Wars. I, I have to say, I think Star Wars. Best sound editing. Star Wars again, Shape of Water, Dunkit, Blade Runner, Baby Driver. Baby Driver, best visual effects. Blade Runner, Garden of the Galaxy 2, Kong Skull Island, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and War of Planet of the Apes. Um, I'm just going to say Star Wars for all of these things since I am such a Star Wars fan. I'm just going to say Star Wars wins everything. Um, best makeup and hairstyling, Darkest Hour, Victoria and Abdul, and Wonder. Best costume design. This is a, a beautiful, the woman who did Beauty and the Beast did an amazing, amazing job. But it's kind of crazy because she's actually competing against herself. I don't know how many times this has happened. Her name is Jacqueline Duran. I kind of want to look her up because she's nominated for two. She's nominated for Beauty and the Beast and Darkest Hour. Um, she's going up against Phantom Thread and The Shape of Water and Victoria and Abdul. Dual, but I mean, hey, she has, it's two out of five, okay? Her chances are two out of five. That's pretty good. Best production design, Beauty and the Beast, which, I mean, their production, I, I love that movie, it was so good. Uh, Blade Runner, I didn't see, but maybe I should watch it. Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, The Shape of Water. Nice. Nice. So, oh, wait, wait, Kate Spencer also did The Darkest Hour and Beauty and the, Be the Beast. So, Kate Spencer also has two chances of winning. Like, that's crazy. Imagine, like, if you've never been nominated for an Oscar and then one morning you wake up and you're nominated for two. That's pretty awesome. Like, she just must have had, like, the best day ever. She's like, yes, I got two nominations today. Nice. Original score. We got Dunkit, Phantom Thread, The Shape of Water, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and three billboards outside Ebony, Missouri. Best original song. I always like this one because it's so, I don't know. I just, I always like it. Oh, Mighty River. Lyrics by Mary J. Blige. The Mystery of Love. Remember Me. Coco. Stand Up for Something. Marshall. This is me, the greatest snowman. Do you want to build this? No, it's not that one. But I remember when they won. I remember, I remember when Frozen won that year at the Oscars. It was, it was a good, it was a good win. Best live action short. Um, Reed Van Dyke. The Eleven O'Clock, My Nephew Emmett, The Silent Child, Watu White. I bet you all of these um, these people that have the shorts are getting so many friends, so many friend requests. They're like, yes! Like, you know when somebody gets nominated, it's like, that's it. Dear Basketball, Garden Party, Lou, Negative Space, Resulting Rhythms, Best Documentary Short, Eddie and Edith and Eddie. Heaven is a traffic jam on the 405. I kind of want to watch that. That sounds interesting. Sounds very, very interesting. Wow. Well, guys, I'm excited to know who's going to win. And I would love to hear your predictions. Like, who do you think is going to win? What do you think? Like, what? who do you think is, is going is, is gonna to win this year? Who do you want to win? What are your predictions? I want to know because I love watching the Oscars. And are you guys going to tune in? I'm going to do a live reaction, so make sure you tune in. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this with your friends. Make sure you share it right now. And yeah, guys, I do. I love you so much. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and thanks for subscribing. All right? Peace. Mm.